This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm in Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 15, Free Play. Yes! Optional. Mess around with your under the sea scene making different things. But uh Mine's already awesome, but definitely going to mess around with it. Dif uh, make different amounts of each component. Play with the ranges of random values. Add other creatures. Play with the colors to give the scene a different feel. Nighttime, red dine, red dawn, get creative. Don't worry, you can't screw it up. Play around as much as you want. You can always go back to a previous version. Each time you hit run, your code is saved and let that lets you go back. Notice there's a button. Yep, version history. You can go back. Cool. Is that it? All right, time to have some fun. I want to change seagrass to, let's see here. Where's my draw seagrass function? All right. I want more color range. I want 50 to 255. Better. I might want a bit of red in here. Okay, that I like. Um, my fish aren't bright enough. Oh, that's size. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. I love this so far. And then the final thing I just have to try is their Red Dawn idea. So let's hit, oh, let's, hit let's look for where is the light. So this is going to be white. If I zero these out, that should be red. Ooh. Ah. If I zero all of them out, it will be dark. That doesn't really make sense, though, because it's not like there's dark sunlight. If I do 150. Eerie. All right. I don't like Red Dawn. I'm living that as is. But, uh... All right, so I like my fish color more. I like that my seagrass color uh, is a little bit varied. So I think I'm good to go. Awesome. Oh, yeah, keep this in mind as a teacher. When you submit your project, you cannot edit it, right? So I get to go through it. I get to look at your code. You don't get to edit it after submission. So just be sure. Let's uh, keep going.